Oh man, I thought I was getting a deal here at the uh, local dollar store. Guess what? That gain, that's not a dollar. It's cost me not almost ten dollars for these cleaning supplies, and I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna be like five bucks. I have five four dollar bills and some change. Nope. Oh heck, we'll go ahead and throw this guy in there too. Maybe he'll help me do some cleaning today. I mean, are you kidding me? At the local Goodwill. Come on, this guy's from Oregon, and he goes to the Goodwill and it's Tesla Cybertruck. September 29th on a Sunday up here again with the 78 Trans Am and today I'm going to be cleaning up a mess and then making another mess if that makes any sense to you. <laughs> One of the last times I parked this car in here it was leaking pretty bad out of the transmission. Kitty litter works really good by the way. Don't forget your safety glasses. Now, I got two of the top bolts out for the motor rounds. I don't want to really take the time to either jack the car up, reach underneath there, and take the bottom bolts out. So we're just going to cut them. Uh, Harbor Freight grinder is too pretty good, but I know I'm somewhat killing the grinder right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll cut those out. I'm not too worried about. I'm gonna. I got new motor mounts anyways, and uh, I'm gonna put new bolts in here anyways. And you know, anyways, carry on. So this brings you to part of the video where I was testing out the security camera at my grandma's house up at the shop. And I figured, you know, I'd give my uncle a call since he uh, he has access to the footage. And I wanted, I just wanted to see what it would look like. And obviously on my end, when you go to share video clips... Uh, the audio doesn't work. So here, I'm explaining how to not steal stuff. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, my whole spiel about working on the, the 78 Trans Am. And uh, as I play the waiting game, waiting for Ricardo to show up. So we can finally shove the LS1 into the fire chicken. That's right. It's happening. September 29th, 2024. It's a real nice sunny day outside. We're here working on the... 78 Trans Am. What else do you have to say there, Richard? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just testing it out. <laughs> That's going to get edited in some way or another in the video. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I can already Let's tell we need more light. So I know this has been done a million times here on YouTube, but uh, yeah, we're about ready to put an LS1 in a 1978 Pontiac Firebird. What do you have to say, Richard? I think I'm going good. You think so? Yep. So we, uh, I ordered one of the custom bracket motor mounts on both sides. 
took off the manifolds, I noticed right away that we had to just straight up delete the AC unit. Where is that at? Somewhere right there. Yeah, in this mess. And uh, I think it's go time. It's go time. 1978 meets 2001. LS1, all aluminum, 5.7. So, what I was... Now, it'll fit. It's, it's too much an angle right now. Okay, well, we're going to try to fit it in. Go so, on. So, after flipping the motor mount bracket, I'm going to go down with it. Yep, slowly. Wow, oh, I was not slow at all. <laughs> You're clear, dude. You're clear. Oh, man, look at the motor mount. That doesn't work. Nope. You gotta, buy, you gotta buy adapter kit, dude. No, that's not that, dude. That oil pan is not gonna work. That's as far as those brackets go up. Yeah. Uh, without, without getting a different Good. oil pan, you can't move it. You can drop it. You can drop it right now. We can put it right there, but it's not gonna make a difference. As far as it goes. Yeah. So. One thing I already thought was going to be an issue is uh, oil pan. I don't know if you can see down there. Probably not, but that's the oil pan. And this is the, uh, where the motor mount needs to be. 
here's the motor mount. So it needs to go forward. That means custom oil pan. Yep. Well, I mean, this is what test fitting is all about, though, man. We made a little bit of a mess, but we LS1. we shoved the LS1 and a 78 Trans Am. I feel pretty good about that. So that's where we're at. I mean, we got the motor transmission in the car. We've got a jack underneath the transmission tailpiece. Actually, where the transmission and the motor uh, mount, just to let everyone know. We're not leaving the, the car with the motor in it, you know, like... Like it's gonna hurt anything but uh right away i have to get a low profile oil pan and pickup i mean that's that's the only thing that's left really to put like look how far you can't really see how dark it is down there but maybe on this side yeah there you go see where the motor mount is right there right there Well, where it bolts, just needs to go up a little farther. So, you get a low profile oil pan, which will be able to push the motor farther up. Bolt it in. I'm pretty excited.